Hey there YouTube, uh, this is just another quick update on the bus project. Uh, this is kind of me shifting back towards the digital dash. Uh, I've been working on getting it mounted a little better, um, changing up the mounting system. I'm um, getting rid of the Mark II dash surround and just going to kind of go with something a little more simple. Um, this is an old uh, TV bracket. Um, I will probably change it up again from here, but uh, for now it gives me kind of more of a, a simple look. Uh, I'll fill it out um, with some upholstery or something eventually, but uh, it's just kind of framed up for now. I just wanted some way to have the screens mounted in a more easily manageable system. Um, you'll also notice I've got the screens popping up properly. Um, so Open Auto Pro opens on my seven inch touch screen and the main DigiFizz dash opens up on the 12.3 inch screen. And it's also opening up into the actual uh, Pi game application, Python program. Um, so it's all working as intended at this stage, I think. Uh, it took me a lot of time to figure out how to uh, get it to auto start on the right screen without messing up the open auto screen. So uh, after some fiddling, I uh, ended up getting there. So um, used the sleep function in my bash file. Anyways, uh, all that kind of stuff will eventually be up on my GitHub. Uh, for now, uh, you can just kind of see me and my son Walter uh, checking it out and playing around with the functions. Um, so you'll notice I'm using uh, Node Red, obviously, uh, and MQTT. Uh, so basically, I've got the Node Red set up on my phone uh, when it's online, um, and that enables me to adjust all the settings uh, as like a test bed, so to speak. Um, yeah, so it seems to be working. Uh, the function's there. Uh, I just have to kind of proceed with the engine control now and get everything linked up properly. Uh, anyways, you can check out this quick video on what it all looks like. Um, so yeah, some progress, little steps forward. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully I have uh, more updates in the future. Uh, I'm kind of shifting back towards the, kind of the tech side of things now that I've got the wiring in there. Um, <clears throat> and we'll see how it all works out. So thanks guys. It is working. My son Walter is adjusting the speed of oh, EGT right now. You can move them all around, buddy. Why don't you move the boost? Okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh, they're all getting maxed out. And then you can go up here and press these things and they turn on the lights. See the little lights? Whoa. Alright, so we're going to try and restart it. So let's go power. Restart. It's going to turn off my Walter watch. So it turns off. Oh, and then the dashboard instantly goes away. That's good. So we'll see if it comes back on automatically. Did you just make us to need to restart the band? <laughs> uh, well, this is, gonna, this is just testing. Just testing it all. This is called bench testing. So, it really came up. Mm -hmm. so this is our bench. And we're testing it. So we're pretending it's like it's in the van, but it's not oh, quite in the van. I want to, to speed up all of Okay, so everything boots up properly. Let's see what happens here now. I think we might have to set up... Yeah, we have to open up Node Red on boot. Oops. Yeah, okay, so over here, we'll just open Node Red from. Oops. From one of them. Alright, so now this should work. Yeah. There we go. It's off. Oh, nice. Let's boost. Good job, buddy. Fuel, speed. Oh, outside temp. Final one, let's see. Oh, voltage. I don't think I have a spot for that one yet. <gasps> oh, wow. wow. Let's see this. I want to check something first. One second. Oh. 
Yeah. Cool. Oh yeah. Nice. Good job, buddy. Alrighty. Mission su somewhat successful. <laughs> All right. Like oh Give my. me a thumbs up, buddy. Up here. Thumbs up. Oh yeah. All right. That's the quick update.